girlfriend and boyfriend. There's so much um, um, repercussions that have to happen. There's no safety in girlfriend and boyfriend. That's right. Why? One aspect of it, say you die. We, say, we talk about this all the time. Say you die. Can she get anything of the assets that you own in this life? Like for example, uh, you, you, you remember what happened with the whole, uh, 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 what's the ghost rapping name? Nipsey Hussle. You remember him, right? Him and Lauren Lennon are not married. They're not married. You think that she's going to be able to get um, um, far as the things that he, and that man built up great wealth, right? You think she's going to be entitled to any of that stuff? That was his girlfriend. That wasn't his wife. Right? That's sad. That's sad. But if we applied that one law right there or whatever, she would have been okay. She's going to be a gay regardless because if she's wrapped up in Babylon. But just an example of that. Girlfriend and boyfriend, I can't go to uh, when I die, my stuff goes to her. That don't It don't work like that. It'll go to the kin, probably mother or father, but it's not going to go towards the person that I had my child with. That's right. There's no security in that, right? He, Hebrews 13 and 4. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Come on. Marriage is honorable. God says what? Marriage is honorable. God says marriage is honorable. Marriage is an honorable thing, right? Why? In all and the bed undefiled. Another reason why marriage is honorable. We have a, the blacks, Hispanics, and, and Native Americans combined together. The STD rate is astronomical. It's astounding. Why? Because we, because women are hopping from rod to rod and men is hopping from hole to hole, right? And we use the comfort of, oh, the relationship was, uh, was a bad relationship, it didn't work out. We use the cover of girlfriend and boyfriend to mask whoredom. That's what it is, right. it's whoredom. That's exactly what it is. Because that's out. not your husband and that's not your wife. Right. So now that person, we, we rely off a, a, a trust system when you're going into the next person. You know? They, they had to have advertisements on TV. I remember younger seeing advertisements on BET about wrapping it up and all these, getting checked in all these clinics and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All these things going on, they had to have commercials for us with that. Why? Because we sit here, we rely on lust. We want that now. But that thing is what's destroying us, our people. Right. That's in the Bible. I'm going to show you how this in the Bible. Read it. Read. Continue reading. Marriage is honorable uh -huh. in all and the bad undefiled. So between, between your husband and your wife, that's clean with God. Right? Read on. But. But. Whoremonger. What? Whoremonger. A whoremonger. A whoremonger, a man who's constantly, constantly having sex with different women. Right. Right? Read on. And adulterer. This touches the woman too. Read on. God will judge. How will God judge us? Baby mothers, baby fathers, STDs. That's right. STDs. That's right. And I'm going to show you that's biblical. That's in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28. Verse 60, 60 or 61. I'm going to show you that's biblical. That's in the Bible. It's recorded in the Bible. That thing that sits on your desk that or, or sit inside the desk that collect dust on it, yeah, it's in the Bible. You might not have been shown it, but you're going to get shown today. Deuteronomy 28, verse 61. Yeah. Verse 61. All, excuse me, also, every sickness. Every what? Every sickness. Every what? Every sickness. Every? And every plague. And every what? Every plague. Come on. Which is not written in the book of this law. Chlamydia isn't written in the Bible. Gonorrhea isn't written in the Bible. AIDS isn't written in the Bible. But it's saying every, sick, every sickness that is not written in this Bible. Read. Them will God. Excuse me. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. Them will who? The Lord. Not the devil, but who? The Lord. Come on. Will bring upon thee. Because that's judgment. You broke God's commandments by not getting married. So now that's one of those judgments. You sleeping with multiple partners, you're, sub, you're playing with fire. You're subject right. to catch something. Right. And the Lord, that's that say of the Lord. Right. Not my opinion, that's what the Lord said. Why? Because it's for correction. Right. Because girlfriend and boyfriend doesn't build nationhood. Right. The Lord is about nationhood. Bring it not girlfriend and boyfriend. The Lord's against that. He is willing to kill his sons and daughters with disease to get the point of nationhood. You're not like the rest of the nations. You are the princes and the daughters of the Most High God. We can't act like the other nations, right? And I'm going to show you another aspect right here. It's not to knock the sister right here, but I'm going to show you another law. Give me Exodus 20, 20 and 8. Not to 
not to knock what the sisters doing because we gotta we gotta we gotta uh, we gotta provide for our households. We gotta keep money going coming in, right? But there's a time and there's a place for everything. There's a season for everything, right? right. Watch this. Exodus 20 and verse 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Let me ask you this. When's the Sabbath day? Do y'all know? Saturday. It's when? Saturday. Saturday. Do you agree? Watch this. He's correct, and I'm gonna show you. Remember the Sabbath day. Now, give me Genesis 2. Remember the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. What's the Sabbath day? If you have not been taught what the Sabbath day is, you're going to learn what the Sabbath is today. Thus saith the Lord. These things, our pastors, our leaders, they're not teaching us what we need to be taught. Why? Because it's all game for themselves. Why? They don't know who, and, and two, pure ignorance. We don't know that we're the Israelites, but guess what? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the Israelites. We are God's chosen children. So with that being, with that being said, we're special. We can't do as the other people do because we're not the same. We are not the same. So we're going to show you what the Sabbath is. What is the Sabbath? Genesis chapter 2 verse 1 We always when something happens An injustice or something happens with us We want to boycott or we want to shut a business down I'm going to show you how to shut a business down Thus the heavens And the earth were finished here's, here's the solution So the earth and the heavens were finished right God finished creating right read on And all the host of them What's going on brother Come on learn your history Come, come on learn some the, the truth what's real Come on And on the seventh day On the what the seventh day on the seventh day sister you and your you and your phone right now right pull up your calendar pull up your calendar and look at and count what the seventh day is that fact here's a question what's the first day what's the first day of the week it's, it's what it's sunday look at your calendar it shows you that sunday is the first day of the week they know that Sunday is the first day of the week, right? We use Monday as the first day of the business week, but the first day of the week is Sunday. So what is the seventh day? What's the seventh day? Saturday, right? So read on. And on the seventh day, God ended his work. He did what? Ended his work. So Lord Almighty himself ended his work on the seventh day, on the Sabbath. God himself, right? Read on. Which he had made. Come on. And he rested. And he what? He rested. The Lord rested. God Almighty, all powerful, rested on the seventh day. Read on. On the seventh day. Uh huh. From all his work. All his what? All his work. Come on. Which he had made. Come on. And he blessed the seventh day. He did what? He blessed the seventh day. When you bless something, I'm blessed. If I bless this sign and I bless this sign, right? I'm setting this side, this sign apart from this sign. This sign is special compared to this sign, right? So this day of the week is special compared to this day of the week. Everybody say every single day is every single day is a light or just another day. Every single day is not the same on right. the same level. Every single day is not on the same level. The Lord bless the seventh day. Not the Sabbath. Read on. God rested and excuse me, correction. Because that in excuse me, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Uh, now, right, so hold this concept in your head. The Lord, almighty, all-powerful God rested, had to rest on the seventh day, right? So watch this, Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 and 8. So what does that mean? So what does that mean for his sons and daughters? What does that mean for them? So God almighty rested on the seventh day. Let's see what he says, Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus 20 and 8. Come on. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. Remember in the beginning when he created the days and on the seventh day he rested? Remember that day. Don't remember your birthday. Don't remember Christmas. Don't remember New Year's. Don't remember those days. He said, remember the Sabbath day. Because guess what? That's the first ever holiday or holy day that the Lord created. The Sabbath day. Right? Read on. To keep it holy. To do what? To keep it holy. How do you keep something holy? What does it mean to be holy? If I would ask, what's your name, Marvin? Marvin? Marvin, what's one more time? Marvin and Tay. Marvin Tay. Marvin Tay. Marvin Tay. So if you if I were to ask you, what does it mean to be holy? Marvin. Se what? Separate. You agree? You agree? Right? Separate. So what makes us separate from everybody else? Do you know? That we what? 
Yes. So what do the Israelites, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, what do we need to be doing to make us different or separate than the other nations? Do what? Do what? Get that man in here. Get that man in here. We're going to show Keeping God's commandments, that's what's going to keep us separate, right? I'm going to show you. Give me uh, holy. First, first Peter 2 and 9. Holy. Oh, separate. Priesthood. Give me that. First Peter 2 and 9. Watch this. I'm just going to reiterate what the brother said with the Bible, with the word of God. That's what we're going to do. Read what you got. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Come on. Be ye a, but ye are a chosen generation. He said we are a chosen, the blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. If you don't think you're special today, you are special. Why? Because God chose us. God Almighty, the creator of everything, chose us. Right. Read on. But be ye, excuse me. But ye are a chosen generation. Come on. A royal priesthood. A what? A royal priesthood. We walk around like it, like it or we don't actually. But God is telling you, you are royalty. Royalty is in your blood. Right. Right? Read on. A holy. A what? A holy nation. A what? A holy nation. The Israelites are a holy nation. But what makes us holy? Give me that. What makes us holy? What makes us holy? So God re it re constantly restates over and over made in different ways. We're different. We're separate. We're, we're not like everybody else. But what makes us that way? Romans 7. What makes us that way? Yes, sir. What makes us separate? What makes us holy? Read what you got. Romans chapter 7, verse 12. Come on. Come on. Wherefore? The law is holy. There we go again. You hear it again. Commandments, law, commandments, law, commandments, law. Same thing. Back and forth. It's the same. It's the point. God is not. God does not change his points. It's, he's been the same from the beginning. He's going to remain the same. We change our mind. God, God doesn't. Why? Because what he say goes. That's just what it is. So God says, what? Wherefore the law is holy. Come on. And the commandment holy. And just and good. So we all claim we good, right? God, Christ himself said ain't nothing good but one. That's God. The commandments is what's going to make us good. The commandments is what's going to make us holy. The commandments is what's going to make us just. Right. These things constantly, like I said from the beginning, that's what's going to change our estate. That's what's going to change our nation. That's what's going to change our people. These commandments. Come on, man. Join us, man. Let's build, man. Let's build. Come on over. That's what's going to change and build our nation. These commandments. Nothing else. Give me Jeremiah 18 and 12. Nothing else. The commandments of God. We've tried everything throughout history and it has not worked. Let's get to the point now. Let's stop playing games with things. We the Israelites. These commandments is what are going to change our condition. That's right. I know you're tired of the oppression. But the Bible says, as far as, is this your, is this your lady? She's not even, her feet not even supposed to be touching the ground. That's right. That's, we're royalty. Our feet are not even supposed to be touching the ground. We should, we, we should be having servants right now. The best of the best. Yet we're fed garbage. We're put in the worst conditions, the worst homes of everything. But we're royalty. We're right. the gods of this earth. That right. don't make sense. Look at your condition and match up with God. Is God lying? Is God lying? Is God lying? Watch this. Jeremiah 18 and 12. Jeremiah 18 and 12. And they said, there is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices. We say that's our own, we, there's no hope in this Bible, but we don't know this Bible. But today you're gonna know this Bible, right. what God commands of us. Right. Like I said, we've never done, we've never truly applied these laws to the extent. So how can we sit here and say there's no hope? You ain't tried it, you ain't picked it up. We ain't picked it up. So we all oh, we tried to we tried doing our own thing. We tried uh, uh well, Africanism. We tried the Kwanzaa and all that other stuff. We tried Islam. We tried Nation of Islam. All those movements fall. All those movements done away with, and we're still in the same estate. But let's try keeping the commandments. Let's see where that's gonna get us at. Finish that up. But we will walk after our own devices, uh -huh. and we will every one. To the imagination of his evil heart. And that's what God has jacked up today, doing every imagination of our own heart. Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua 1 and 8. That's what God has jacked up today. Modern Christianity is garbage. 
right. that's not gotten us anywhere. Right. Right. There's seven churches on one block and our people are still on the bottom. That's right. That does not make sense. It don't add up. They coming with the same message, right? This should be cleaned up. There shouldn't be no crime, right? There shouldn't be no poverty. But yet, in the same time, look at our people on drugs. Crimes at an all-time high. Right. So guess what? Ain't something ain't being applied. Joshua 1 and 8, and then I'm going to switch teachers. Bring it out. Joshua 1 and 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Come on. This book of the law. This what? This book of the law. From Genesis to Revelation. This book. This book. Read on. Of the law Come on. shall not depart out of thy mouth. Come on. But thou shalt meditate therewith day and night. So I mean, not only just sit here going off with one man when he said, pick up the book, read, study. Read, study for yourself, right? Meditate day in, day out, right? Why? Read. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. Come on. Therein, for then thou shalt make that way prosperous. That's what we're looking for. We always want to go to church for a blessing. For God to bless us. Right? This is what's going to make us prosper. Now they will see the treatment of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.